Hello my dear friends, welcome to Photon Academy. My name is Harshwats and today we are going to discuss about editing interaction and adding tool tips in Power BI Desktop. Power BI Desktop is an analytical software that will help you in understanding your data set through various visualization in different data models. Now let us go further and talk about point to be discussed in this video. So in this video we will particularly talk about two points. In the first point we will cover how does the edit interaction work. And secondly we will cover the topic about the tool tips. So all this will be covered in Power BI Desktop. So to understand all these things we have to go into the Power BI Desktop itself. So let's go into it. Now we are in Power BI Desktop in data model interface and specifically in report view where we have two visualization which we have created in one of my previous videos. So if you want to learn about this creation you can go to my previous videos about the line visualization and the clustered column chart. So this is a, this is a line chart, this is a clustered column chart which we have created in previous video. Now let us go further. Now if you want to explore one new dimension of a Power BI desktop, just look what I am doing currently right now. So if this is Asia, if I click on this, you will see there is certain changes that happened in our visualization. So could you see it? I hope you could because the visualization which is just next to this visualization is just changed and it is just filtered for the Asia as I have highlighted the Asia in this visualization. Now if I click on Africa does it will change? Yeah it did and if I click on a Europe will it? Yes it did and so through this you will see the visualization are interacting with each other. So if I click again on this North America would it change it surely do this is because the added interaction is currently on work so how do I know the added interaction is working to understand that I have covered in my previous videos about the interface which is of report view so to understand that is not kind of difficult to find about the interaction you just have to go into the format ribbon when I click on a format ribbon you will see an option here that is edit interactions in here you will see what it does it change how visual interact when data points are selected while in edit mode select the source visual and choose behaviors using the icons that appear so if I click on it what will change I hope you would see it again I will do it kindly try to find out what is changing in our visualization again I will click on it again there is some change that happened in our visualization again I will click on it I hope you have observed these two points one is none and another is filter so if I again click on it you will see both of them will be gone again Again if I click on it the both will come into our visualization. So what does this function work? So if you go into this Asia if I click on it you will see there is only Asia that is present in this visualization that means, that means the interaction is in process. If I do this that is none then if I click on it you will see there are the process that means the two interaction are not not in process if I click on any one of them no changes will be happening in the adjacent visualization while if I click on a filter and I click on any of these things the visualization will change because the again interaction will begin between two processes and again if I click on none the no then there will be no change in our visualization that is adjacent to this visualization. So I will again click on cancel that is none. So again I will click on filter so it will work like this. So again just click on the report view anywhere so you will get into the normal view. So 
you will click anywhere in the report view so that it will come back normal now you will see that this visualization which is adjacent to this visualization are interacting now could you think that this visualization which I am currently on where I have put my cursor is also interacting with the adjacent visualization so let's check that out also so if I click on it you will see there is certain changes that are happening in our visualization so you could see that in Asia that is also available because I have selected the Asia so there are three points that are available to us that is highlight and another is none and another is filter so currently filter is working so if I click on a filter you will see particularly Africa uh, particularly data of Africa is present so if I click on Asia again you will see the data has now been changed into Africa again we will click on something else that is North America you can see in red color here it is of North America so when I click on it you will see the data in this will be changed that is of Europe because we have selected for the Europe in here so if I click on it now you will see the data of that also so if I click on South America you will see the data of South America so uh, this is how filter works now we will now after filtration process we will get into a highlight process so how does the highlight work so if in anywhere I want to go and click on something like in Asia I will click you will see there is so little of the data that is highlighted because the data is from Asia so this is how the highlight works again I will go back to unto again I will go into another part of the uh, visualization I will click on that you will see there is little bit of data that is available to us and if I click on none so none of the changes will be happening and this will affect this again I will click anywhere you will see there is no changes happening in adjacent visualization so this is how the edit interaction works so if I again go back into the format ribbon again I click on edit interaction so there will be no interaction so we have covered the topic of edit interaction so where we will find that again we have to go into the format ribbon again you can do an edit interaction and if you want to use an apply drill down filters too you can also check the process from here so after now because we have already completed the interaction there is one thing that has left now which confuses a lot of person is tool tips in a visualization pane when you selected any of the visualization you will see that there is data available in axis legend values and there is an option available to us that is tool tips so what is it and how does it work so this is kind of thing that confuses a lot of person so first of all I will tell you it a bit like for now if you see in a visualization what I have put a cursor on we will see a mark in 273 Africa population Asia population Europe North America Oceania South America so the data is present in this sense again I will make changes in a tooltip and will let you know that how does it work so again I will increase the size of a field section to know what are the things written in the field columns so for particularly I need a population percent of female like this is a population percent of female which I have calculated through the DAX language if you want to learn more about it about writing majors you can go to my previous videos and see how does this work again we will take this population percent of female and drag and drop it into the tool tips so you will see there is no changes that is happened in our visualization only is there is only change that happened in population and population percent of female by year and region name which has been changed by while there is while there is no other difference you can see from your visible eyes but the difference is there what difference is there if you click on it now you will see the things are in a different way 
now in a cursor when i put it on the visualization you will see the region name africa and percent population of a female is also present in our data set that means in a visualization you can see population percent of female in region name also that is in africa it is 49.89 percent in asia it is 49.14 percent in europe it is 51.15 percent and so on so forth so this is how you will use the feature tooltips that is available in your visualization pane and this is one of the crucial feature that you should know of because it doesn't make lot of changes in your visualization but while the things you want to see will make a lot of difference so this is how you will use the tooltips feature you can also make changes in this also if you require to do so so you can see in here we have the feature we have already covered about access we have already taken a legend because in this visualization legend is not required but you know how the legend works now in value we have put the population now in the tool tips if we want to put anything you can put it here so this is how you will do your visualization so with this point i am going to end this video and i hope your queries got cleared and if not kindly write us in comment section we will surely get back to you and if this video helped you in any way kindly drop us a like and don't forget to subscribe our channel for amazing videos in future till then have a good and amazing day